Hey guys, Cody Schwabe here, and in this video I was just going to do another painting showcase where I show you a painting and kind of explain how I did it. And this piece is called, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in, this piece is called uh, Distant Memories. It's actually a very large piece, 6 by 3 um, So let's talk about the materials. First off, I've got the canvas. Uh, the canvas is actually a 6 by 3 canvas that I got from Jerry's Artorama. And it came in a three pack, the company is called Edge. So uh, I can put a link and I wouldn't make any money from it, but just Jerry's Um Let's talk about uh, the paint. The paint is always Don Edwards. Um, although I did use two types, most of it, actually there was three types of paint, excuse me. Um, let's talk about the different colors and I'll explain the paints. So. The painting uh, has a gold color. The, the gold is actually Modern Masters, I believe. Um, so it's you can get it at paint stores. Uh, it's just called Modern Masters. It's a very thick paint that I really like. Um, that actually has a really, it has a really good like metallic color to it. You, you can tell that's gold. And I've used other golds like that one where that is actually, let me zoom in real quick. You can see that it's gold, but what I don't like about it is it, it, it broke up. You can kind of actually see the little cracks right there in between my fingers. Um, and that was actually a cheaper craft grade gold that I got for that one. But I, it could be just that I spread it out too much. It could just be that um, maybe I watered it down too much or something like that. But anyway, moving on. So. The uh, the light pink that you see here is uh, is actually normal house paint. Um, I think it's like an eggshell, and that is that was also done Edwards. I just don't remember which line of paint it was, um, but that was actually just normal eggshell paint, right? I mean eggshell as far as the the shine. Um, now the other three colors that you'll see this dark purple, um, kind of this. In between like I guess you could call it like a fuchsia pink or something uh, and then obviously white um, those were all of those were the the Dunn Edwards high gloss paint that I normally use okay so that's the paints now let's talk about the materials I used to make this piece so in order to make this piece I actually used a very simple uh, tool in fact I can go outside real quick and show it to you uh, it's right here. So this is actually just a sheet of plastic uh, that I bought from Home Depot. And I cut it in half, but kept the straight edge. So this is the straight edge. And literally what I do is I fold it back, and then I put the paint on, and then I scrape it back. And that's it. I mean, that's literally all I do um, to create the scrape. But I'll kind of explain it. I'll go back in and, and kind of explain it real quick. So... Uh, let's talk about a little bit of the method um, for how I created this. Um, first off, we'll talk about these little loops. I love these little loops. At first, I wasn't sold on them, but after kind of seeing them for a while, it kind of they kind of grew on me. Um, this is actually from the paint sitting in one place too long. So what I did was I was throwing the paint on the canvas, and it, be, because I live in Arizona and it's hot almost like nine months out of the year, um, the paint started drying before I could scrape it. So that was actually me putting the paint on and it was drying and then I scraped it and like whatever was on the bottom actually just kind of stayed and kept that. So at first, again, I wasn't excited, but after a while, I, it kind of grew me and it kind of makes the, the piece kind of unique. Um, now, the rest of it was simply scraped. So I would take the colors and put them at the edges and scrape them down or I would, you know, scrape them across, or I would just put a little bit of paint in certain areas and then kind of scrape it and make those designs. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, literally, this piece, you can make a piece similar to this um, with the right materials, but I I showed you everything that I used. I used Jerry's Art on a canvas uh, by Edge. I used Dunn Edwards paint and Modern Masters and then I simply used a piece of plastic that I bought from Home Depot for like 10 bucks or less um, and just literally scraped that paint across and that's it guys that's how I made this painting 
it looks awesome or at least I'm impressed with it um, and you can you know if you want to make a similar type of painting that's how you do it and if you want to buy this particular painting it is available on my website I will be putting it on Saatchi and as well as Etsy probably as well um, but you know with my website I can always give you a discount if you're interested so Anyways, check it out if you're interested. If not, if you are looking to make a similar painting, this was the piece that I made and how I made it. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in another video, you know, explaining how I do things. Also, I'm thinking about creating a Udemy course. If that's something you're interested, please comment below and tell me if you'd be interested in, in having a course that explained how to make, you know, paintings like this or this or any of those or that or any of the ones that you see on my site. There's more that I have that aren't even listed on my site. Um, but if you're interested in learning the different styles and how I make these pieces, let me know in the comments and, uh, and I, I might come out with a Udemy course that actually shows the materials and the methods um, in real time. So you'll actually watch me create paintings from beginning to end. Um, and that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in another one. See you later.